Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be working on a 12 by 12 layout using the new Hope and Kindness collection from Close to My Heart. I will have a link down below if you'd like to support my channel. You can go to beckybeating.closetomyheart.com and pick yourself something up. As you can see, these are the photos we're going to be using. This is a photo of my brother David and I. When I went back home for a visit last time, my niece um, organized a gathering at her house and so a lot of the family came by it was nice um, usually when I go home to visit I have to go see people or they just come at random times to mom's house but this was really nice because Erin put it on and people came at you know a specific time when she was having this this um, gathering right so yeah it was really cool I loved it it was a good time so you can see right here, I am going to be using those two those two photos. I did map them in the Sundance color. Right here, I'm going to cut off a couple strips. The design I'm going to do, well, first, the design I thought I was going to do is different than the design I do do. But right here, I am cut, cutting off a couple different strips because I do want to use just a couple different patterns in my design it was kind of kind of be a strip design but when you look at the layout later it looks more like a block design so you can see right here i do use that um, piece in the or i am trying to use that piece in the background as my the base of my layout this is going to change a little bit right there i was measuring and you can see i came back and had cut them all the same length I am just going to ink the bottom and the sides of this one and the other ones I'm just going to ink the sides of. Okay, so right here is when I kind of decided when I fleshed it up over to the right hand side. I'm going to go ahead and lay these down and then I will trim out this block as a piece and it's going to sit on a different background you can see right here okay so I put it down and I'm going to go ahead and trim it out like so so my um total my design took a totally different turn than what I had in originally planned you can see right here i did pull out this piece it has this white swash on it and i absolutely love it i only got two pieces of these i've already used one and this is the last one i have left i'm considering boarding bordering it right now at this point i thought i'd trim off the craft color right and just have the white swash but in the end i do decide to keep that paper intact right here i'm using these foam alphas you can pick over pick up over at close to my heart they're really cool because you can color them with your alcohol markers or even alcohol inks I absolutely love these um, but in my case i am going to leave them as they are and i just titled it this is what i thought the title was going to be it says big bro on it i do have two brothers and they're both big bros they're both older than me i am the youngest of six so anyways um that's how i was going to have it but i will end up changing that i do pull out my t-square ruler to kind of try to get this straight ish anyways the piece i was trying to border it with i don't know if you guys remember this but we had over at close to my heart had that sale on cardstock that was uv coated well of course i bought the pack so i have several colors that are uv coated on one side and flat on the other i did not want to waste the uv coating but i will pull that back in um later on a different layout to cut out some leaves from the uv coating side and it turns out fabulous so right here you can see i did find the ampersand it was in the die cut pack and i was like oh this might not be grammatically correct guys but i put big bro and me because i really thought the ampersand was super cool and i wanted to use it so there you go <laughs> i could have spilled out my name big bro and becky i don't know i i called it big bro and me and i don't even know it could be fine grammatically i don't who knows um, not me because um, I did not major in English okay so I did put a little bit ink the edges a little bit on the die cut and all the die cuts I will ink the edges a little bit on I'm not trying to give them a big coating just a little 
coating. So here I do are have already have pulled out some pieces that I want to work with. I did cut on that that die that is the doily die. I love that small doily die. The other side is actually the white from this background papers from the first paper but I wanted to use the craft color design on this on this layout you can see right here I am starting to put banners up I'm gonna go ahead and take the doily off of there and I'm gonna tuck it right here I'm gonna end up pulling in some flowers for that oh right here this was a sticker I took the sticky off of very nice very nice and you can see i have those banners set up at the top these other two are also stickers that i took the sticky off of mostly the small one i don't think i did but that's fine whatever um i'm just kind of shopping them around the page seeing if they could go anywhere now that big first orange one i wanted to put it down there on that doily however it was too much um sitting on that um sundance page it was just too much of that same color right there here I am going through the die cuts again, pulling out these little flower shapes. They're hollow leaves. I'm going to put the, pull those out and put those down around the page. And then I will pull out some of those gold glitter dots. You can see I put down three of those hollow shaped flowers. So cute. As I'm putting these dots down, and I did go heavy handed on them. I went heavy handed on the glitter dots. Two layouts I've done in the past week or so. I've just been really loving those. But anyways, as I'm putting those down, I'm like, oh, I could put some in the center of the flowers. So I do finish them off by putting little glitter dots in the center of all three of those flowers. Now, on this, I do not have still photos at the end. I was just trying to edit this in the interest of time. We do have eight puppies, and they are starting to take up a lot of time. Um, just even cleaning up their area. They've grown bigger, so now I have the mud room blocked off, and that's where they are. And trust me, you put down puppy pads, they do not always aim for the puppy pads. Okay, guys, I want to thank you so much for joining me. Please check the links out below. Go to be beckybidding.closetomyheart.com if you'd like to support my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.